Merry Christmas! Uh, we just wanted to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas because we're actually home now. <laughs> yeah, so uh, when we made this video we've kind of got a little behind on our time schedule and so uh, it wasn't Christmas when we was in Ireland and so we just wanted to take a moment at the beginning of this video and just wish you guys a Merry Christmas and we hope you had an incredible, wonderful week. And we are so thankful for each and every one of you. So without further ado, let's go back to Ireland. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. Today we're going somewhere very scary. Ooh. 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 It's called Scaries. <laughs> we're literally going to Scaries. <laughs> it's um, this beautiful little area that has two windmills and it's just north of Swords. And so we're gonna adventure around. Okay, so we came to uh, Scary's, Scary's Mills. Mills and we wanted to see the uh, the windmills, but it turns out we can't get to the windmills today because Santa's here. Santa here? I know him! And, and he doesn't like windmills. It's apparently a flight risk for him or something <laughs> if we see the windmills. Uh, no, because they have a Santa uh, for the kids and stuff, and so you can only get to the windmills with guided tours. And they're not running guided tours today because... Well, Santa's here! Santa's the main attraction. So we're so. just walking around looking at the little craft stalls and booths that they have set up. And then we'll probably go to the castle. Ooh, another castle. Not our castle. castle. Um, we'll probably go there a little bit earlier than we originally planned. Ardgillen Castle and we're just walking up it has this gorgeous kind of massive front lawn and you can see the castle and the gardens the gardens are actually free to walk around and like parking was free so we're totally gonna make the most of that and peek our head into the tea room I think That's right, yeah. see about getting a cuppa yeah it has like a uh, like a, if you ever been to the Biltmore like a Biltmore-esque to it as you kind of walk down um, can't say anything about the inside yet, but um, yeah, it's really, really grand. And what's beautiful is it's overlooking the Irish Sea. Never seen the <laughs> Irish Sea before, but you can see the mountains in the background and then the Irish Sea, and it's just, whew, beautiful. <laughs> Well, we just had a lovely cup of tea and a little, what was it? The cake thing. Um, orange and almond cake. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. But not only did we just have like a good cup of tea and a nice sweet, it was in a tea room in a castle. <laughs> what? What is this life? And I actually had four cups of tea. Not <laughs> 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 like, true story. <laughs> Sign on the road that said Dunger Gaslow. <laughs> Nobody could have said anything you just said. That's the point of sounding <laughs> Irish. I saw a sign on the road. I saw a sign on the road and it said uh, Dunger Gaslow. I didn't know what this meant, so I just kept driving. Next thing I know, I'm crashed into a ditch. Realized the sign said <laughs> Danger, go slow. <laughs> waka waka! <laughs> 
Goodbye, 18th century castle. Possibly 17th century. We got conflicted reports. <laughs> Continue for two kilometers. Look at this pro driving. It's just like a professional. It's like riding a bike. It's like going the full speed limit down the road. <laughs> That's when you know you're feeling confident. <laughs> You guys accept the card? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Perfect, thank you. Oh, please, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Thanks, have a good one. They are the most pleasant toll people. <laughs> you guys, everyone customer service wise, everyone stranger wise that we've talked to have really blown us away with their kindness. Even the toll lady. I mean, she's out there in the cold has every right to be cranky, but was she cranky? No. No. She was cheery. <laughs> she said cheerio <laughs> as we drove away. Oh, you guys, I love it here. All right, so we're stocking up on groceries for our castle stay. We're ready. All right, we're just pulling up. We're just pulling up to the castle driveway area, I guess. And look at this tiny little narrow road. <laughs> Gosh, this is like the Are you our welcoming committee to the castle? Wow, babe! <laughs> Are you just the sweetest welcoming committee ever? Yeah. just arrived at our castle and so what we're gonna do instead of making this video extra long we will I'll do a bonus video uh, released uh, this week and we'll just give you guys a tour around the castle go into a castle <laughs> okay. first night in a castle the gates up the gates up yeah put the drawbridge up <laughs> castle is closed for the night <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And we're about to have, about to have a cheese board. Oh, mm. let's do this. <laughs> so we thought it'd be fun to stop at the grocery store earlier and get just everything we need to stay in all night and all day tomorrow. So we got a little cheese board, some gluten-free bread. We wanted crackers, but they didn't have any. So many cheeses, so many fruits. And we got our Bucks Fizz and we're ready to just have an amazing night in. So it's our first morning here at Drummond Tower and it's breathtaking. It is so beautiful. And um, we're just gonna take a walk around for a little bit. Yep, we check out in a couple hours and then we're gonna head back to the airport and fly to England. What? We're pretty excited. We can't wait to see family. Um, but for now, we're going to soak in all these Irish views and take a gallivant around. <laughs>
Wow. <laughs> Okay, so it's our last day here in Ireland. Uh, we just checked out of our castle. And it was <laughs> <That's> amazing! <right. laughs> it's fun to say that we're checking out of a castle. Um, and so we got a couple hours before we head to the airport. Um, and so we are checking out uh, this place that we saw online and that got recommended us, to us by the people at the castle. Um, but it's actually something to do with Europe's largest passage tombs. And so it looked really cool. Uh, we don't know much about it, so hopefully as we go, we can tell you guys more <laughs> of what we're gonna see. We're gonna learn some stuff. <laughs> so we came here to Brune Boyne uh, Newgrange, and it's really incredible. It's over 5,000 years old, and it's these passage tombs from the Neolithic, I believe that's what it's called, age. Um, but yeah, from 5,000 years ago. And you can only visit the sites actually with a guided tour. And they don't have a guided tour in time for us before we get on our flight. So um, sadly, we're not able to walk right up to it, but they had like this new, what would like you call interactive walkthrough, kind of telling you all about it. And so that was really uh, cool. Yeah, kind of recreated what it looks like inside the tombs and stuff like that. So. Uh, so yeah, it was kind of uh, a little bit of a flop, but uh, it's cool to kind of just learn about this place and yeah. uh, just understanding like that this is like 5,000 years old. It's just crazy to Predates think Predates the pyramids, which is, yeah, mind-blowing. Yes, yeah. Um, really beautiful area though and just really, really gorgeous. Like the exhibition was so nice and new and now we're walking to I don't know where. We exited the place and we're walking, so here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we're on to the next place. Uh, we come to we saw signs as we was leaving the other place for Battle of the Boyne, and so uh, one of the locals told us about this place as well. Yeah. And so um, we may just have a walk around here and see what we can find. Uh, just kind of kill time until we get to the airport. Yeah, it looked really beautiful though driving up. There's this massive home, and you can see some historic site landmark area set up. So again, we're gonna learn some stuff. <laughs> That's the Mason reporting from the Battle of the Void. Back to the Void. Boy. Do the accent right and it's so disappointing um yeah so the battle of the boyne was actually ireland's largest battle ever um there were over 60,000 troops and it was all between james ii and william iii basically after i think it was james ii yeah got deposed as king of england um from william they had this massive battle for the north and south like coming from both the north and south um, of Ireland and this is where it happened so I don't know if you can see on camera there's like these three huts that are a recreation of the huts um, that the battlemen were kind of stationed in and um, they have like recreated so much of this area just to kind of show us what it was like and walk us through the history of it. So okay guys, uh, we just got to the airport and we're about to jump on the plane to head to England and uh, get to spend some time with family leading up to Christmas. And so this is where we're gonna leave you guys. So if you enjoyed uh, this video and coming with us to Ireland, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, go ahead and subscribe and tune in next week because we will be going to England. Okay, guys, be, be back, back next, next week. week. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please let you know the portable electronic devices may be used during the flight as long as they are in flight safe mode. You may use handheld devices such as mobile phones, tablets, and e readers during takeoff and landing, <laughs> and you may also use your personal headphones at these times. Larger items, including laptops, must be switched off and stowed away in your luggage for takeoff.